Okay, welcome back to Lindustries Outdoors. I'm gonna try something uh, new for the channel that I haven't done before, and hopefully no tip-ups go off. I wanna try to do reviews on the water or on the ice of gear that I actually use. I got a whole bunch of new gear this year for ice fishing, and I figured, I mean, I might as well document my experience with it, and now that I've been out, this is my fourth time out, I've gotten to use the new gear I've gotten at a couple different lakes. Figured I'd uh, give a little review on it. Now, I'm not a professional reviewer of any of this, and I'm only sponsored by one brand. This would be Kenders Outdoors. I'm pro staff for them. But uh, what I'm reviewing today is not from Kenders. It is a rod case and gear case that I picked up at the St. Paul Ice Show. The Lakewood, I believe this is called the Greenback. I'll throw up the full name on the screen, and I'll have this linked below if there's a link for it somewhere. This is a ridiculously giant rod case. So I'm going to set it down, but I'll throw some B-roll when I'm talking about certain parts. So I'm going to start off with what I like about the case, then I'll get into some other things. What I really like about it is how giant it is. There's pockets everywhere. I can store, well, I haven't even, I don't have enough rods to fill it, but I have six rods out here, various sizes. The longest one's probably about 36 inches. I've got round reels and spinning reels. And uh, those take up maybe 80% of the space in just the main compartment. And under where the reels sit in there, I'm able to store all the line that I want to bring with. So I have a whole bunch of extra spools of line, different fluorocarbon and braid, and even tip-up line. And that's just the main compartment. And then we've got two compartments on either side that uh, I use for my, my bait and tackle storage. Not like live bait, but on one side I've got all my nice jigs. I've got a full size, large tackle tray that I got from Kenders Outdoors, dual sided. And that fits in there. You could probably fit three of these in just one of those pockets. And then I've got my other little trays in that. And then I've got the other side full of all my tip up gear, extra sets of forceps, some weights, extra hooks. And that's just the front two compartments there too. So now I've got all of the tackle I want to bring with and all of my rods and extra line. And there's still another compartment. There's a really nice hard uh, middle compartment underneath the rods. And you can use this to store whatever you want. You can fit a bit large tackle trays in there. You could probably fit a 3700 series Plano, but I haven't tried. But what I use it for is my extra tip-ups. I couldn't fit an iFish Pro in there, but I have two of the large... Uh, cone style firehouse tip ups just stuffed under my rods it's really convenient it's really an all-in-one package if you want to just have one spot all your ice fishing gear including tip ups in one spot you can bring it all with you and the only issue is that it's really not super compact there's a lot of other ways if you want to be compact and just throw a couple things in there it'd be a lot smaller this is uh probably almost four feet long and about a foot tall and two feet wide so it's it's not a small thing to bring around and it's not light either but it's built to last it's super durable like you could probably run this thing over and it'd be fine it is it is a tank and i love it it's got a ton of storage and my only gripe with it is that it's just not very compact or light to bring around i i started out with a small sled so i could bring everything with me but uh having this kind of is making me want to get a bigger sled but i mean with the amount of storage you get between this open pocket up top this pocket up in the front here and this middle one where i store my tip-ups i don't really care if it's not portable enough i get to put everything in a really nice secure case i don't have to worry about breaking rods or anything everything's safe in there it's i, I definitely would recommend a case from uh Lakewood. My brother is the one that pointed me to them, so I'm glad I picked one up. Again, I'm not a professional reviewer, but uh, that's my thoughts on the uh, Lakewood case that I picked up for all my gear. So it's just something new I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make more videos. I kind of made a preview video on my Aquaview. It's the first thoughts. I didn't want to review it as I hadn't had too much time on the ice with the Aquaview yet, but 
probably have a more in-depth video coming to that. I'm going to have one on live scope because we do have an ICE live scope kit with a 30 amp hour battery that we picked up. So I'll have some testing on that, see how long that battery lasts and maybe some in-depth stuff with the live scope. So yeah, just something new I want to try this year while I'm waiting for tip ups and flags to go off. I'll try reviewing some of my gear and talking about my experience with it and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But hope you enjoyed this video. Probably not super long. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.